in speaking as well. Now, I pulled this out as this is sort of one of my predictions, but go park yourself, right? Because if you went to the consumer electronics show, normally in the last decade, it was Sony, it was Samsung, it was Intel, all these sort of guys. You know where the biggest players at the consumer electronics show was this year? It was Ford, General Motors, Mercedes Benz, Audi, etc. Because we're talking about the connected car. Now, a lot of people think it's about a driverless car. And technically, we can do driverless cars, right? We can do them. But before I go on, another question. In which year did the first driverless car pass the state driving test? May 2012. Got a license with no driver in Nevada. So technically, we can do this. But there are a lot of other issues, like legal, like liability, and so on. So, now look at this. Third quarter, 2014, AT&T sold more LTE, that is three 4G, connect, 4G connections, to cars than it did to people. Than it did to people. We already have, we're, you know, connected cars. What we're going to see going forward is connectivity in, in cars. What we're going to see going forward is more Ethernet ports in cars. And I'm not talking about trains, planes, more Ethernet in cars than the entire IT industry. That's what's going on to this business. And I want to end with this. We're going to be talking about it tomorrow. Hopefully some of you guys are here. Anybody heard of the square kilometer array? Okay, great. So 11 countries got together some time ago and said we, need, we can't actually, as human beings, see into deep space. Our telescopes can't peer that far out there. So these 11 countries got together with scientists from around the world, astrophysicists, astronomers, etc., and they decided to invest and build the square kilometre array. Australia's got one, South Africa's got the other. It is in the most radio quiet parts of the Earth. So it's, in this case, it's in Murchison, 300 kilometres north of Perth in the desert. Okay, and, and there's one of the little arrays, and I'll play you a little movie. But what you're seeing here, in the first five minutes that they turn this on, so what we're doing is we're peering into a deep space between the black hole and our galaxy, and we're looking at it in a way that we've never been able to see before. And what's happening is that data is coming into that array that's going by, that's collecting at just in a trial, 60 gigabits per second. Three gigabits per second going to computers um, in, in the Pawsey Centre in Perth, back to the array to tune them. It is the largest implementation of IOE on Earth that I know of, that anybody knows of. Huge amounts of data, huge. And it's trying to scramble through those data to peer into outer state space to tune those antennas so that we can see more clearly. The forefront of mankind. This is what we're doing. We're doing in Perth now, and I'll just play a little movie showing you how. Well, I was going to play you, but I won't. It's a different slide set. I think. Anyway, the point is, there's a drone. That's a drone flying over, and it literally is a square kilometer of these arrays. Okay, you get the picture. So this is all well and good, and you know, as a CTO, I'm often talking to people about new technology and change, and so are you. But I want to sort of just cite Jeff Bezos. Anybody heard of Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon? Okay. And he said the other a few weeks ago, he said, instead of asking me what's changing, ask me what's not changing. And let's invest in that. What does he mean in Amazon's case? He means, I know that my customers want low cost, easy shopping. And I want to you know, make it as easy and as provide the best user experience possible. So when you go out there and you're talking about all this technology, be careful. Because there's this whole world out there that I'm going to change overnight. We still got to make a profit in business. There's still returns on investment that we need to think about. There are still a whole bunch of factors in our industry that keeps us you know, grounded. So with all this rate of change, 
uh, as an industry, we also need to think about the human side, and we also need to think about what doesn't change as important. So those are the top 10 that I uh, sort of blogged. If you guys are interested, you could do a search. It's public. Um, you guys are in the right place at the right time. I want to encourage you all. I think you're all going to be taken into, into the world of solutions now. Ask as many questions as you, as you can. There are lots of good stuff from Cisco, lots of our partners. Take advantage of it. There's not, I, I don't think there's an event, certainly in this part of the world, that you can get uh, as much um, you know, information in, in real time. Thanks, good luck, and don't forget to...